Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be looking at three reasons why it's a good idea to open a limited company alongside your community interest company. So before I get into that I want you to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the videos on this channel where I cover everything to do with community interest companies and grant funding. Now that aside, let's jump in. So I'm going to be looking at three reasons why it's a good idea to open a limited company alongside your community interest company. Now this is the question I get asked all the time. It's probably one of the most common questions I get asked as a community interest company consultant. So let me hit it off. So let's look at reason one. Reason one is paying yourself easier. So when you do work for your community interest company, whether it be as a project manager, you do admin work, you're a lead artist, you're a sessional worker, all this work you do for your CIC, you need to invoice your CIC. Now you can do that as a self-employed person, you can invoice them that way, and then, you, then the CIC just pays you as a self-employed person into your account for the work that you've done, you pay your income taxes for your self-assessment, etc or you could open a limited company. So the benefits of you opening a limited company, now when I say you, I mean just you as a person, as a sole trader, not you and all the other directors, just you. So this is about paying you. So you can open that limited company yourself, just quickly do that on Companies House. You can set up a Starling account for that one, it doesn't matter about bank accounts, just a regular bank account is fine, so you can do that quickly. And then you would invoice your CIC for the work. Now, you can do that by, say on your grant forms, um, you can either list, uh, say, so say I do work for my CIC, I list on my lottery budget that I'm gonna pay myself, Kelly Thorne, X amount of money for X amount of hours, sessional work on this project. So I don't, on that sense, put the name of my, um, my, my limited company, just put it's paying me, and then I would just still invoice the, um, the CIC for Kelly Thorne's work. Now you can do it like that or you might have something that your LTD is hiring to your community interest company. This could be say your LTD owns a property and your CIC is going to be running a project in that, in that property. So in that case your uh, LTD would invoice your CIC for room hire or for venue hire. So then in that case you would put the name of the limited company. Now this is why it's very important that you do not have the same name on your limited company as you have on your community interest company because that will look super dodgy to your uh, grant funders. In fact, they would likely actually reject it. And it's not a good practice to have your limited company the same name as your CIC. Remember your CIC is building a brand as a not-for-profit, as something that doesn't gain profit. So it's not a good idea to muddy that water with an LTD, which is of course a profit-making company. So you need to make them different. Now some people say, well, could I just make it slightly different? But you don't want to do that because again, uh, a grant funder will see that on some applications if you're billing your CIC. So you don't want to do that. So make sure they've got completely different names. So reason two as to why it's a good idea to have an LTD as well as your CIC. This reason is for tax benefits. So, so this is about you as a person. When you invoice, of course, your CIC for the work you do, you get paid then into your LTD. And there are some tax benefits which would benefit you to have an LTD rather than you getting paid as a self-employed company. So you'll probably already be aware of some of the tax benefits with LTDs. There's lots of benefits to having an LTD. Now, I do recommend you talk to an accountant about this. I'm not an accountant, so I'm not gonna give you that financial advice on this channel, but there are lots of tax benefits. So speak to your accountant about all the tax benefits to having an LTD. Reason number three is investment. It just makes it easier for you to reinvest into businesses, property, um, if you are being paid into a limited company rather than paying yourself as a self-employed person. So for example, say I earned quite a lot of money in a year, I squirreled that away in my LTD, um, I would, could then maybe invest it into developing a property, for example. Of course, that property then long term is a good investment and it should gain me income and generate wealth uh, later on. Now you can see that would be an advantage financially long term. Whereas if I paid myself as a self-employed person, then of course I'm being taxed. So if I then get the money, I'm being taxed, and then I go and buy a property, I'm obviously gonna have less money to do that. So you can see there why it's a good idea to have the LTD in terms of it will allow you to invest 
before you're being taxed. So again, speak to an accountant, of course, about all of this, but I'm just letting you know that those are some of the benefits to having an LTD rather than paying yourself as a self-employed person through your community interest company. The last thing I wanna mention is a question that I often get asked is, can you convert an LTD to a CIC and vice versa? So just so you know, you can't convert a CIC into an LTD because the CIC is of course a community benefiting company, so you can't do that. But you can convert an LTD into a CIC. But sometimes, well in fact often, it's probably just easier just to say you've already got the CIC, just open the LTD. Say you've already got the LTD, just open a new CIC. Because again, you wanna make sure you get the names around the right way, what you have a think about what companies you want to be called which. So I hope that video has been useful. And if you've got any questions, please jump over to my website and ask me. Again, as I've said, please do always run things past an accountant, but if you've got any questions in terms of grant funding, how you word things on grant funding applications, or you just wanna have a chat with me about how you structure your LTD, then please give me a message over on my website and I will get back to you.